Hey guys, I hope all okay with you and I hope you haven't got any unnecessary fines since my last video. In this short video I'm going to talk about uh, manual entries and how to add manual entries. Therefore at the end of the video, end of this video, you can find two short video about video Siemens tachograph and about stone ridge tachograph so you can learn how to add manual entries. But before those videos you can learn about the regulation part. Why do we need to add manual entries? The, the first answer is because you cannot sit in the truck in every minute so of course you have to add manual entries. You will go for holidays, you have to go home or you have to do any other activities and of course you don't have the tachograph to record those activities. And because the digital tachograph is the primary source of the information, you have to use this device as the main source of the information, the main source of your uh, previous 28 days. You must verify every minute of the last 28 days. Before I show you how to add manual entries, I have to answer one more very important question. What does the question mark mean? And not this one, but if you want to add manual entries, let's say OK, end of shift, begin shift, you know the hammers, availability, ta-da, this is the question mark. What's that? So what does the question mark mean? And to answer this question I have to open a regulation, a file. So let's jump to the usual website which is www.transportcommunity.eu and then transport, road transport and the topograph regulations and in this case we need the regulation about the digital topograph and if you click that one you can see this docket and this one is page 240 and the question mark this is unknown and if you want to take a look on a printout the question mark means unknown duration, unknown period. So that's very important. This is an unknown period. So if you can see at the bottom of your printout a specific time here after the question mark, you have a period which is uncovered. That's very important because as I said before, you have to cover every single minute. But let's jump uh, back to the digital topograph and okay this is an unknown period as I said so the most interesting question why would we want to verify an unknown time period that's it sounds stupid so we have to verify the time period but we don't want to do that and I have two simple answers so case number one and case number two case number one Let's see, sometimes you drive a truck with analog tachograph and that period covered by the disc, which is the analog tachograph disc, and you cannot, you don't have the right to verify that period with another device, which is the digital tachograph. So if you have a disk about that period, you have to leave that period in the digital tachograph uncovered, which is the question mark. Otherwise, you just duplicate the verification of that time period, which is not legal. And case number two, let's say your digital card has expired already. 
So that means you have a new card. And when you just place your new card into a slot, the new card and the tachograph has no clue about what happened in the previous 28 days. So the digital tachograph will ask you about your 28 days, which is already verified, which is already covered. So you don't need to cover it again because it's covered already by your previous digital card. So in that case, when you just place, when you just put your new digital card into the tachograph, you don't need to verify that period, which is already covered by your old card. And you have to leave that period as an open period, which is the question mark. And, that, and now let's see those two short videos about Siemens and about the storage tachograph, how to add manual entries. Okay guys, let's see how to add manual entries. Now, this is a storage tachograph simulator. First of all, I need to delete the memory of this tachograph. So I just want to create two weeks holidays. I just push this button and it starts over. So welcome Smith and the last withdrawal two weeks ago. Perfect. Now you have the right to push the, the yes, which is the OK button. If, for instance, if you were on holidays, no other activities, then you can just add a rest activity for the whole period. And if you want to do this, you have to push the OK button and that's it, you're ready to go. In this case, I say no. So that's the arrow down button and OK. And now you have the option to add manual entries. And I say yes, which is the OK button. And this is the last time, this is the last date and time. And this is your last activity, which is probably a card withdrawal. And you can change the activity, whatever activity you want to add, you can change it here with the arrows. So you can set hammers, which is working. You can set the availability or the question mark. That will be a, another video. And this is the rest. And of course, I was on holidays uh, since 28th of July. And this is the last time I just used the tachograph. So, okay, I just push the OK button now because I want to add rest since that time. But the next one is till when. So you can add this activity. You can change the date and time here. And let's say this is the current date and time. And let's say I just want to uh, add a rest period until 11th of August, but I just want to change the time. So let's say the date is okay. And here is the time and let's go back one hour. So this is 1521. Okay. Okay. And now if I push the okay button, this date and time will jump over to here because I have uncovered one hour still. So that means I have to cover that one hour. So let's push OK. And now you can see that particular time here, as I said, it just jumped over to here. And now I have to prove this one hour. What did I do? And let's say I was driving to the truck because the truck was not on the yard. So I had to drive to the truck to collect the truck. So that will be working time. And you can change again the activity here. And this is the working time hammer and the date and the time is always the current date and the time here. So let's say I just arrived to the truck and I want to set my last hour as working time as I was driving to the truck. So if you say, okay, the time, okay, the minutes, the hours, minutes, 
Okay, and now the begin country just shows up and you can say, uh, for instance, island, if you are in island and push the OK button. No, I don't want any printout. So I just push the OK again. And finally, you have to confirm. So are you sure about these details? Yes or no. And if yes, you can push the OK button and you're ready to drive. Hey guys, in this short video we are going to learn how to add manual entries and this is a video Siemens tachograph and you can see two rows here. At the bottom you can see the current time and date. You always see the current date and time here and at the top you can see the last activity noticed by the tachograph. So my last activity uh, happened on 28th of April 2022 and that was the exact time. And now the current date is 5th of August and you can see the current time here. So we have to cover this period now. Okay, let's see how to do that. Okay, first of all, you have to set the activity. What kind of activity you want to add? And you can see that was the last time, the last activity. And now we have this period unco uncovered. And you can set the activity here with the arrows. And you can change over the activities, like you can see in my like like in my previous video, the question mark. I'm going to create a new video about the question mark, but of course the hammers availability and of course rest. And this is a long period, so I just want to set rest first of all. So, but I just want to add rest until and from. Uh, 28th of April to uh, 4th of August and I just want to leave the, the time uh, because it doesn't really matter so 11.04 and if you press the OK button this time this row will jump over to the top. So let's push the OK button and as I said you can see that particular date and time at the top. Now I still have uncovered period, so I can set the activity again. And I just want to set a working time, which is the hammers. But from the 4th of August to 5th of August, that would be very long. So I just change it back to 4th of August. And I just want to change the time. Uh, let's say four hours, something like that, four hours work. So the date is the same and I just want to change the time and you can do that with the euro button. So let's say 11, 12, 13, 14, uh, 15. Okay, so approx four hours work. And if I push the OK button again, the bottom row will jump over to the top and you can, uh, we still have uncovered period. So again, I can start setting the, the rest, I mean the rest period, because I just want to set rest period from uh, 4th, of, 4th of August to 5th of August. I just want to leave the current date and the time. I don't want to change that, so that will be my last activity. So if I push the OK button, the digital topograph will save these details. And then you have to confirm these entries and you have to add the beginning country and that's it. Okay guys, so that's it for now. Thanks for watching, thanks for your attention. And if you like this video, just don't forget to subscribe as we, have, uh, we will have more and more video like that. I just try to give you more hand. Do not pay any unnecessary fines.
keep your money in your wallet and see you in the next video. Thanks.